Good morning. And we are jumping straight into our second day at our turkey holiday by sitting down at our MacBook. As you'll see that I have started to upload episode number one of this travel series and it's only going to take about an hour and 45, 49 minutes. So it's only going to take about two hours to upload the vlogs, which is absolutely fine and perfect, which means that I can go ahead and continue filming this series and bring it to your faces. And yes, I am in my underwear and I do need to get ready as the time is currently 9 a.m. and I want to go and head for brekkie. In which, as I get to work actually uploading this vlog, by the way, I thought I'd just take this opportunity to just document to the world to kind of showcase just what I've been working with in terms of trying to edit this vlog. So it's nowhere near as bad as what it was on my old PC, but if I go ahead and hit the play button, you can see it's currently operating in slow motion. So unfortunately, although I am able to edit it, you'll have to forgive any slight inconsistencies in the vlogs, any slight awkward bits where I have forgot to cut it early enough or not cut in soon enough. So there's a bit of an awkward start before I start recording. You'll have to just forgive me. However, let's get ready and get on with day number two. I would like to go ahead and welcome your faces back to a new day on my channel. My name is Mickey T. Usually, uh, you can be seen, you can see me documenting my weeks in the form of working at Catnip, trying to lose weight, and just grow my gaming channel and my businesses with my wonderful and beautiful wife. However, we are on holiday, and thought I'd take you along on the week daily journey of what it's like to be in a five-star all-inclusive resort in Turkey. So we are indeed starting day two by heading to breakfast. Tell you what, there's a lot going on at breakfast. It is busy as freaking here. <laughs> well, breakfast is finished and we're heading back to the room to grab towels. But look at that view. Look at the mountain range. Whip. Bit of a random transition, but this is the first peace and quiet I've had all day. We've come for dinner as one little bugger missed breakfast, didn't we, Luke? Yes. <laughs> um, so we've come to get a light snack. I've been in the pool, but so far, just a chill day. As I said, I would have, but we're gonna sit down and have ourselves some scran. Gone and, myself, gone and got myself some chicken shawarma with just a few little bits of wrap. As you guys know, I've been on a diet back at home and I'm still trying to maintain kind of like low carbs, no sugar. Um, even on holiday, I'm kind of just relaxing, enjoying myself, but I do still want to try and limit my carb intake. But as far as lunch goes, you can't really complain. I'm going to put you down there as we're going for a bit of a cheeky taste test. Mm. But yeah, I definitely meant what I said earlier. Like, there's loud music by the pool. There's just so many people when the food hall opens. It's just, it's nice to be somewhere where it's so quiet. <laughs> Quick pit stop to grab Luke's glasses because we're <laughs> dragging him around the restaurant like an old blind man. Now I've come back to the room just to grab something and I just wanted to check something. As... Yeah, the housekeeping came by earlier on when I was busy kind of doing the thumbnail for yesterday's video. And Ashley said uh, that we weren't interested in having a clean in like spare of the moment. Because Ashley was like mid getting ready. She just opened the door and was like, oh, uh, come back later sort of thing. But they haven't come back yet. So uh, the mini fridge hasn't been restocked, which isn't a big issue. But I was kind of hoping that it would have been. Uh, just because it's nice to kind of sit down on an evening when I'm editing these videos and just have one of the... The cork is zeros, but it is what it is. Uh, so I just need to get into the case and grab. Ha ha! This, the snorkel mask. I can't wait to show you guys this. I think it's going to look a bit daft, I'm not going to lie, but <laughs> I'm hoping that it works because if it does, well, I did actually want to buy like a waterproof GoPro case to mount on the top because um, I did bring the GoPro, but unfortunately, I didn't get round to buying the case. So, gonna head to the beach and try out this mask. Ah, it turns out there's another restaurant right there. I didn't even know about that one. Ugh. Might have to have a look in there later on. Oh no, that is a vibe. Look at that. Bro, oh, look at this.
Oh, now that's my kind of vibe. I absolutely love snorkeling and beach and everything. Uh, but I have found my target. <laughs> There's a speedboat in the shape of a car. <laughs> Check that out. Me, 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 me. What's it? It's speedboat. I don't know why it's speedboat. It's easy to I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were walking. Good. Carry on. It's fine. I do agree with Catherine though, this is definitely a better vibe than the pool. It's a good vibe! The best vibe! <laughs> I've done that before and I'd do it again, except the only problem is, is I've seen I've seen far too many videos recently of the wires snapping. Really? <laughs> yeah. And then they just go Weep. Well Dean thought it'd be a very good idea to walk to the end of said pier that I pointed out earlier and jump off into the sea, which, by the way, drops off very, very quickly. Uh, and it's about here where it starts getting about six or seven foot deep. But this pier is where it's about to go down. I have just realised I've got my sandals and my glasses on, which you're going to have to take back with you. <laughs> but I'm going to give Ashley some camera. What you might want to do is just stand at the edge and then like... Yeah, 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 yeah. You've got another one? Yeah. Yeah, please don't die. <laughs> I wish I was more athletic. I do look back. Are you going together? All right, okay. Off he goes again. I thought I'd get a bit cocky and try and dive in. Just be careful. A bit scary. <laughs> More of a belly <laughs> flop. <laughs> in which I do apologise, by the way, that was probably about as graceful as a fish flopping around on the surface, but it was fun. May the force be with you, Barbara. <laughs> Philip and Jerry have come to... Uh... <laughs> that is sick, that, though. The the fact that, like, if you think about it, when we were kids, if we ever went on, a like, a speedboat, like, all we might get is, like, a, a printed little, like, digital picture or something. It's like a memory from the business. They've got, like, a full-on drone that follows the boat. <laughs> I want a personalised drone video. <laughs> I should have brought my drone. I just wanted to point out that view is absolutely insane. However, we are now heading back to the room as we want to get ready and take our time because Ashley's back isn't very good at the moment. So, yeah, we want to go and chill out, get ready, have a shower, and just make sure that Ashley can get some painkillers and just rest before we have a bit of a night of drinks and food and all the shenanigans ahead. <laughs> I'll tell you another wild fact actually about the, about this hotel um, because of everything that's kind of the, the way that the geopolitics works at the moment which obviously is not something that I would want to get into sorry I just had to get back into the room there yeah uh, basically they've split the room up into uh, the hotels up in two building blocks and basically from what we've learned um, is that one side is Russian um, and one side is for uh, Europeans and uh, British people. Else. Yeah, so yeah, kind of crazy, but it is what it is, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, time to. Uh, I was going to flip up in the case, but I need to go and shower because I am a mess and sticky and salty and just see stuff all over. So I'll see you in a bit. Don't worry, I'm in a towel, but I'm a little bit red raw. Ooh. Ow. <laughs> Oh, and that is a face of a man that's probably going to live to regret himself tomorrow. However, I am changed and ready for action. 
I thought you were holding up a pair of underpants there. <laughs> I just then I looked at the background. I thought Ashley was pulling out racy, racy underwear. Anyway, I thought I'd go ahead and show off my outfit. So those of you that haven't watched my weekly vlogs won't know, but I basically wanted to experiment on this holiday by trying to upgrade my style, especially if you're new to the vlogs. I have been on a bit of a journey to kind of like improve myself and part of that journey obviously is dressing a little bit more for a lack of a word that's probably going to get me hated by half the internet, demure. Uh, <laughs> so I thought I'd just go ahead and showcase the outfit. So I've got some like, they're called boat shoes or loafers. Um, well actually technically these are boat shoes. Um, but I bought them because they wouldn't require socks. And I thought if these, if I, <laughs> to be fair, if I had longer legs, these would sit a bit higher like that. Um, but yeah, and then obviously wearing uh, this shirt, which I think was from Tesco, if I, if I recall correctly. Uh, but yeah, this is the evening attire. Um, I'm still not anywhere half near as good looking as that piece of hot stuff over there. Uh, <laughs> in which it also literally just occurred to me I completely forgot to do a room tour and that was kind of the first thing I wanted to tick off on the bucket list um, so I'm going to do a very very quick run around of the apartment that we have on this holiday and call it a room tour and it doesn't matter what you think you're going to have to accept it so starting off strong we've got the balcony area we have a sofa a double bed and the bathroom which is pretty basic you've got your pulley out mirror with switchy on light you've got your hair dryer which should belong in there you've got the um, um, hotel <laughs> things you've got the toilet with a bidet and then you have the shower which is wait, overhead handheld shower stuff Sneaky safe and a closet for putting your clothes in. And saving the best till last, you have the mini bar, which includes, but not limited to, a few sugary drinks and sugar free drinks, as well as some waters and complimentary tea and coffee, uh, which is all free and included in the price. And that sums up the tour. And holy heck, it got dark out here very, very quickly, so I might not be able to record it. Just oh, there is light. Hello there. Oh no. <laughs> Wait a minute. Like the <laughs> <laughs> oh no. By the way, I do want to stress that was not coordinated oh, in the slightest. And I meant it was starting the night strong with a vodka and diet coke. Oh my god, that's strong. Now I am unfortunately about three vodkas deep and it is I don't drink at all, so it's kind of like I drunk already. <laughs> I look like <laughs> three margaritas. <laughs> and I've had like margarita. three vodkas and diet cokes, but we're now heading for our after shut, evening shut, meal. Shut. <laughs> I think we're going to end up in the nightclub later on, but I'm probably not going to video that because you don't want to see that drug me. <laughs> oh, I can barely make it upstairs. Whilst I'm absolutely, honestly, freaking hammered, I thought I would try and do bit of a food tour but honestly there's so much food in here I don't think I could I could probably do an entire video on the food like here we've got chips and we've got that sounds amazing get one of them Mike you've got to try it now we've got to balance that make sure that it doesn't fall off <laughs> and I don't know what an Indian coupe is, but I'll take one. Oh, now that is what I... I think they do these for dinner, but I'm going to take one anyway. Uh... <laughs> and I really want to grab the pizza, but... But I think I'm avoiding that because, as I've said earlier, I don't want carbs in my meal at all. Oh, well, saying that, I have got a hot dog bun on my plate, so that kind of goes out the window, but ooh. I'm just completely overwhelmed. I so much trouble with this. <laughs> I love, like, yogurt, like, Turkish eggs, like, anything with yogurt and spices. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I honestly could do an entire episode in this food hall. It's insane. Yeah, it's food to her. 
the videos did not do this justice. I'm not gonna lie. Like I watched a bunch of videos. Oh, I'm gonna get some stuff peppered uh, before coming to the hotel. But yeah, honestly, like jokes aside, it does not do it justice. Like if you ever want to come to a hotel in Turkey and you're a foodie like me, then. <laughs> And one too many bevies. Later, I am gonna go ahead and end the video here. So I've been the Mike James, also known as It's Me, Mickey T. And if you wanna follow along on this journey of the Turkey holiday vlog, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button. But I'll see you guys in tomorrow for day three of our Turkey adventures. Goodbye.